I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at the DuckyLand launch. So the DuckyLand project just launched. We're going to make a full price prediction moving forward. What is smart to do and how far have they progressed since we last covered the project? I have the chart right here. It's on the one minute chart. So it happened less than an hour ago, the launch. Quite a strange launch. Uh, one of the launch patches uh, provided liqu uh, released tokens too early, and they also did liquidity quite early. So the information provided by the launch pass was that at 4 p.m., so 3 p.m. UTC, 4 p.m. my time, the liquidity would be provided, and there would be 30 minutes until the claim. So usually, when this occurs, the token starts off high and then reaches a slowly linear downward trend. Uh, until you can claim and then you see a significant dump. That didn't necessarily happen and I'll explain you why. You can definitely see the decline, but it didn't happen as expected. So when we zoom in basically to the chart, it did start at the IDO price of about 50 cents, right? And then there was a huge pump to about $5. In that case, we're missing some uh, of the information here, but it basically reached $6. So this was way before the actual liquidity was supposed to be loaded, or at least the, the sale was supposed to start at four. It did start at 3.43. At the actual moment that the sale was about to open, it reached the all time high of 7.66, where there was basically a, probably a butt pump and a butt dump at the same time. And at four o'clock, this linear downward trend basically occurred where there was a consistent sell off of people who did snipe the launch, right? Who was uh, responsible for this pump basically. And here, and probably this leg up as well right here. And now they're taking their profit, so they're slowly selling. There was a small pump here and there were, were more sales. So we would have expected the dump to occur on this 30 candle right here. So this one on the way down, it was definitely not significant. It was only 25 cents. Why? Because one of the launch pads, apparently Trustpad, did release the tokens early to their investments and that's the investors. And that's always some kind of risk dealing with like tier two, tier three type launch pads that they release the tokens early. And that's obviously very childish, uh, quite immature. No matter what the reason might be, you hurt the project and their investors in general by releasing the tokens early. You only have a temporarily uh, advantage on this project, but I assume that if that happens more often, investors, if he sees uh, other relationships, do not want to work with you anymore because your relationship uh, or your brand has been damaged, right? As dumpers releasing tokens early, not according to the agreement, because the agreement's at 1630 and not 1627, basically, right? Three minute advantage, they dump all their tokens, they take significantly more profit. I was uh, able to sell though at about 181. So I think still on the, the this candle, right? One of the first ones to sell as I'm usually quite quick. So I was, I was happy about it. 181 on my IDO allocation, which was 50 cent, which is about a 3.2 X, which is fine for me. It didn't get my initial back, uh, but it almost got my initial back on the IDO allocation that I submitted. So I was happy about that. That was through AnyPad that worked fine, right? So when I go to AnyPad, I can actually show you. So Launchpad. So on the public pool, which is this one, I had about $1,300 allocation. Uh, in my MetaMask, I had uh, 0.8. So I got about four BNB which is about $1,200. So I almost got my initial back on the actual Ducky Land IDO, right? So I'm missing about $100, but this was only 20% TGE and I have already claimed this, right? Um, so now we need to wait until the next claim. So I also did the private, which is, oh, this is the private actually, the public is here. Okay, so I switched them up. So the public, uh, I did 2000, which I sold to so 1300. So it's still 700 to recuperate. And then the private, I did 1300. So definitely quite big allocations. As you can see, I already claimed 800 tokens. In general, 
I would say, um, yeah, a good launch 3.2 with the current market conditions of Bitcoin being so volatile. I'm happy with that. The private uh, sale. So this is the public, which I did 2000. And then the private one, I'm actually a little bit more bullish because on the private pool, this one, I did 1300, but the token price was 30 cents. And on the public, it's uh, 50 cents. Right. So definitely the chart at about 1.5 is still five times private sale price. The only thing is, I think you only get 10 percent tomorrow. So not on TGE, it's TGE plus one day. So we got 20 percent. So the vesting is actually quite interesting. If you go to crypto rank and we go for ducky land, ducky land, there we go. Basically, Trustpad released the tokens early, so it's the IDO. It's so this one had 25, this one had 20. I think it was 20 20% 20 unlock, and then 20% um, 20, 20 per month, right? I think that's the IDO deal, uh, the default one. And then the private sales, 10% unlock a TGE plus one day, then unlock daily for 10 months. I think they changed it as well. I think the, the IDO actually got changed to 20% uh, TGE and then 10 day cliff uh, and then unlock daily for, I think, four months. I think they do daily uh, vesting. I think they swap that out, which I think makes sense. So I think for both cases, uh, they're being unlocked daily. But definitely the private will will have a significant amount of tokens, right? Because the tokens for sale were only 400,000 here. So I assume uh, 200, 400,000 and then any pad. So let's say they have maybe 2 million, right? Total for the IDO round. And there's 9 million for the private. So tomorrow, a lot of tokens are being unlocked. They are trying to catch this dump, Ducky Land, by implementing a centralized exchange strategy. Uh, but the centralized exchange is maxi. So I'm not going to assume that will do a lot, but at least uh, about three hours before the private seal tokens are being released, uh, they will list the token on maxi, uh, which could potentially have a positive impact on the price. With the current market conditions, I'm not too bullish on that. I think the price will stay about above a dollar. Whoa, that's a big, big purchase right here of about 40 BNB. Maybe it gets sold off immediately. But definitely, uh, I think it should hover around a dollar. So if we can get, so we got like, yeah, see, dump imminent. Uh, I think if we got like a 3.2x today and we got, uh, we're able to get a 3x tomorrow on the private sale, I think we've done well on this project, right? So just saying in general, we, we should not expect too much with the current market conditions. Ducky Land got postponed twice. Bitcoin just pushed over uh, 40K, which is good news, right? 40.6K is definitely on an aggressive run as of the last hour and a half. But don't forget about uh, this significant dump L earlier this week. And obviously this dump just yesterday, the market is still extremely volatile. Right. So definitely with these IDO projects, I think we should be grateful. We should be happy that we're not taking a loss. And hopefully when the market becomes more bullish projects uh, like Duckyland, which are then still investing, right, uh, will have more potential, right, more longer term potential, I would say. So when the vesting is being released for 10 months every single day, I think over 10 months, the marketing will be turning more bullish, right? The entire market overall will turn more bullish. And these token will actually bring more value than it's worth today. If in the meantime, the market doesn't turn more bullish, there will be a steady decline, like, like we have seen with so many different projects. So that's definitely the prediction to take into consideration. In my opinion, the best thing to do as an investor is go for profit. So anytime the tokens are being released, it is not every day. I'm not going to claim every day, but I'll probably claim it once every two weeks, maybe once a week. If the price is above IDO price uh, or the, the price I purchased them for, I'm going to dump because I do think they have something ready. I can play the Ducky Land uh, animation, right? The introduction trailer. 
what these duckies are about or they do have actually some gameplay yeah some pre-alpha battle gameplay this is not really a game i would consider being like a long-term holder of value all right it's funny i do see some people playing it but it's kind of the same as games we've seen before like neneko uh, they do have some like this is just the battle part and they do have definitely some interesting farming mechanics uh, I think which has potential um, but all in all I would say the primary mover here of value is um, the IDEO significantly right they have to do something with the NFT some buybacks some some exchanges uh, but if the market turns more bullish I think this project will increase in value uh, at the current valuation according to PooCoin it's about 145 million uh, if that is actually the real market cap, I think uh, that I, I assume that's fully diluted. That's still uh, extremely overvalued, right? Um, a game like this is not worth 145 million. I think we can all agree on that, even the people from Ducky Land. I think, however, if they have this in a mobile game, specifically this farming, and this is when I now I reviewed the game, what I was initially so excited about, right? The farming component, the the farm fill style, prepare the land plant the seeds, water it, harvest the vegetables, that kind of thing, which is like a repetitive task to build out your little farm kingdom uh, with these duckies. And it's funny that they're duckies, but I don't really care in general. But I do think that play component is there. The battle part, not so much. It doesn't really intrigue me. But I, when I see this gameplay, I think they have something that, that's definitely interested, interesting for the market right uh, when i'm talking short medium term because it looks like it's pretty much ready it's like alpha stage right they still have to run through the beta but it does look uh, quite decent and at least they have some gameplay you know how many games launch these days and they don't have no gameplay nothing like that so that is something on which i think is extremely important to consider here as well um, with the ducky land pricing tomorrow will be a very interesting day they have the maxi launching at 11 a.m utc and then the claim will be uh, 3.30 UTC for the private. Uh, so definitely be prepared for another drop, significant drop, I would say, that moment that that occurs. It's just natural, uh, natural occurrence, definitely. Right, so that is important. Keep that into consideration. That's everything for Ducky Land for now. If you have any questions or remarks in regards to Ducky Land, feel free to post them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to have a look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.